What is going on guys? Welcome to OSRS Quick Tips and in this episode we're going to be talking about game ticks. This question was asked by Nathan Mestag. Game ticks in general, what they are, how they work, and how tick manipulation works. So for the first part of the question, what are game ticks? Well, RuneScape runs on a game clock. Every 0.6 seconds there is a game tick and this is basically the clock that keeps the game going and things on time. Everything that happens in the game is a multiple of this 0.6 seconds. So what this means is there is approximately 100 ticks per minute at 0.6 seconds per tick. Now this can be a little bit different because the length of the tick can be a little bit more to this due to the connection speed and the server having to process multiple players logged in at one time. According to the OSR's wiki, the observed length of a tick can be between 0 0.606 and 0.618 seconds. So it does vary from time to time. Now on to the second part of the question, how do the game ticks work? Well, everything in the game, like I said before, is a multiple of one game tick. So everything you do in the game, whether it's attacking something with a melee or ranged weapon, or building a table in construction, or fletching a bow, it is all operated on game ticks. For example, the Abyssal Whip is 4 ticks per hit, or 2.4 seconds. In contrast to this, any God Sword is 6 ticks per hit, or 3.6 seconds per hit. Moving on to something comparable to skilling, let's say attaching an orb to a battle staff is actually going to be two ticks per battle staff, or something like fletching, cutting wood into unstrung bows is three per bow, while stringing a bow is only two per bow. So when you're cutting a bow, it will be 1.8 seconds, but when you string the bow, only 1.2. For the last part of the question about tick manipulation and how it works, tick manipulation is a method in which players are actually able to use the RuneScape clock to their advantage. This can be used both in combat and skilling. Basically, by doing something fast enough within a game tick, you can interrupt animations to optimize your skilling and combat experience. A couple examples of this would be prayer flicking. Once a prayer is active, it will drain at a constant rate but if you can turn it on and off within the same game tick, it won't drain any prayer points. Another example would be tick eating. Certain types of range and magic damage, the damage is calculated when the spell is cast, so if you eat before it hits you, then you won't take the damage that would normally kill you. So that is going to do it for this episode of Quick Tips, and I hope that you may have learned something about game ticks that you didn't know before. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up down below. Remember to subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below too. I will see y'all next time. Take it easy.